goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. The meaning of her name is uncertain, although the ancient Greeks came to believe it referred to foam. The story of her creation goes like this, and I'm not kidding. When the titan Kronos cut off the penis of his father, Arenos, with a sharp sickle, he cast the immortal member into the sea where it floated amongst the white foam. Inside the penis, Aphrodite grew and was then washed up on Paphos on Cyprus. There were in fact sanctuaries dedicated to her on many islands, which suggests that she was a West Asian goddess who was brought to Greece by sea traders. The Greeks then married her to the crippled smith god Hephaestus, but Aphrodite was not content to be a faithful wife. She bore children by several other gods, including Dionysus and Ares. Hephaestus made a mesh of gold to catch the lovers Aphrodite and Ares in bed together. He then called the other gods from Mount Olympus to see the pair, but they only laughed at his shame, and Poseidon persuaded Hephaestus to release them. Aphrodite's greatest love was for the handsome youth Adonis, another West Asian deity that was killed by a wild boar. Adonis became the object of admiration for both Aphrodite and Persephone, the queen of the dead. This bitter quarrel was only ended by Zeus, who ruled that Adonis would spend one-third of the year with himself, one-third with Aphrodite, and one-third with Persephone. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button.